Welcome, and here we go again. Um, so, um, today it's um, time for another uh, edition, uh, another video. And um, I'm going to be taking uh, a look at the second part of my ranking of all of the regeneration scenes. Um, so, on the last video, I ranked the, um, the bottom half of, uh, the regeneration scenes. And, um, this time I'm gonna, I'm gonna be reviewing, uh, six to number one. So, I'm well, not reviewing, that's kind of the wrong word, but... Um, number six, uh, so we've had uh, Colin Baker, Sylvester McCoy, John Hurt, Peter Davison, uh, John Pertwee, Christopher Eccleston and Matt Smith uh, so far. Uh, but now we're going to have at number six, Paul McGann. Um, by the way, sorry if the voice is out, I'm, I'm trying to uh, work this out but there's a bit of a, a problem with my video software so uh, if that's so distracting sorry but um you know I'll, I'll be taking a look at that and hopefully that situation shall be improved anyway uh paul mcgann um is at number eight and that's because um i i just love the night of the doctor as a whole it was such a pleasant surprise to see paul mcgann back obviously we thought it was going to be we knew it was going to be one of the Doctors who would return, it's just we never expected it to be Paul McGann, who was the Doctor who appeared in the TV movie. However, it was Paul McGann, and that was sensational to uh, see him return to the scene uh, as the Eighth Doctor. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, Paul McGann's regeneration scene was um, brilliant, and, yeah, it was so great to see that wrapped up after uh, just under 20 years of mystery, really. Uh, number five, it's William Hartnell, and that's because it's the original regeneration scene. Maybe it should rank in the top three or something, but um, I've ranked it at number five because it is William Hartnell, and it is the original regeneration scene. The first regeneration scene, indeed. And, um, yeah... Uh, it, it, it's the original, you might say, um, and, you know, a, an honourable mention to the Twice Upon a Time um, reinvigoration of the uh, regeneration scene, the first regeneration scene starring David Bradley uh, over to uh, Patrick Troughton there, and that was fantastic. Uh, but, yeah, this regeneration scene is just... It, it, it may be very... Um, how would you describe it? It, 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 it? It's it's not necessarily the most epic of regenerations or farewells. It, it, it's very subtle, uh, but I like that. And number four, it's Patrick Troughton. And that is because uh, Troughton... Well, um, his, his The War Games is a sensational story. And it just concludes with this regeneration scene that, while being, it, it, it's incredibly different to the previous one, uh, but the second Doctor goes out uh, with a very uh, great uh, exit. And it's an uh, extremely original regeneration scene, because uh, while in most regeneration scenes you see... Um, uh, the uh, following actor um, arrive in the scene, uh, you see, um, y you don't see that, you see, um, you just see Patrick Troughton fade into the darkness, and I just think it's a really original way of doing things, and a really good way of doing things as well. And number three, it's um, David Tennant. While it's uh, not a subtle regeneration scene by any means, um, it is a uh, really epic and fantastic regeneration scene. It has a humongous build-up and it's extremely satisfying when it does. It's even a surprise to me that he's ranked up this high uh, in terms of regeneration scenes. But it was just such an incredible regeneration scene. And it was just such an epic moment of television that, that couldn't have been missed, really. So, 
Uh, yeah, at number three is David Tennant's Tenth Doctor. The End of Time is incredibly epic as a whole, but that regeneration scene in particular. Um, at number two, it's uh, Peter Capaldi. And um, that was the regeneration scene in Twice Upon a Time. This is the runner-up. Um, and it, it was a sensational regeneration scene. Peter Capaldi was one of my favourite doctors, personally. And um, seeing the... Uh, Capal uh, seeing uh, Capaldi regenerate into Whitaker. First off, that speech with Peter Capaldi, uh, or the two speeches, was amazing. It was an incredibly emotional farewell. Um, we got to see, you know, Twice Upon a Time as a whole was an incredible farewell episode to uh, the Twelfth Doctor. And um, yeah, uh, also seeing um what do you call him uh him uh Jodie Whittaker um in the finale uh saying oh brilliant that was a it was wonderful to see her and one of the the best introductions to a doctor I would say it was incredibly well done um Tom Bake ah I ruined it I ruined it I could have done a build up Tom Baker's her number one <laughs> What am I? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, Tom Baker's at number one because it's such an original and incredible regeneration scene. I mean, um, The Watcher, it, it's just... I, w I would love to see The Watcher return for a regeneration scene. It was just amazing to see such an original and well thought up, you know, regeneration scene that's had an absolutely sensational build up to it as well um it was it was an absolutely iconic regeneration scene that may never be beaten even though it was from the 80s just the watcher is an amazing uh creature it could have been done better now uh but it it, it... needs a round of applause anyway that's it um, for today's uh, video. What are your uh, favourite regeneration scenes? Please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, that would be much appreciated. And um, yeah, uh, we'll have another video for you soon. That's that out of the way. I might have a little bit of a Series 11 update. There's been controversy in the Doctor Universe over the past week because... Uh, Peter Capaldi, not Peter Capaldi, I keep saying the wrong things today, um, because of Talents of Wang Chiang for some reason, and because of something that BBC One controller Piers Wenger said, uh, that the Doctor doesn't have any idiosyncrasies. I may be sh sharing my opinion on that, because I have got some interesting opinions on that. Uh, otherwise, go, go over and check out our podcast at Doctor Time and Space at Podomatic, and that would be much appreciated. Um, and, uh, yeah, also, please, could you, uh, like and subscribe and ring the bell for more notifications, and the next video, yes, as I said, will probably be a Series 11 update, and we've got a lot of news over the past week, we've got the writers and directors all confirmed, uh, we've, we've had, um, perhaps, um, the reveal of the air date, but we, 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 we have we we haven't got an official confirmation of it, but someone spotted it online somewhere uh, in a reliable source. So uh, we believe we know that. But I might be sharing the latest Series 11 update. After all, there could be a second trailer anytime soon uh, and a release date. And we'll be keeping you up in date. I'll, I'll, I'll have a uh, trailer breakdown for you uh, if there is a second trailer coming out soon. Anyway, stay uh, tuned. Watch this space. Uh, for more Series 11 updates, um, and I will see you next time. Same time, same space. Goodbye! What you are about to see will change your universe forever.
What is that? Welcome and here we go again. Now today I am here uh, for the second of my SDCC uh, related videos. I did a little trailer breakdown discussion thing the other day so if you want to check that out if you haven't already uh, it's over on the Miss Lewis Moon YouTube channel and I might put a link down below if I remember. But, um, yeah, um, today I am going to be discussing all of the other exclusives and stuffs that... That, that, that can't... That's not... I, I can't remember doing that. Oops. What is going on? Watch the panel quite good, very good, um, and that's available on We Live Entertainment on YouTube, um, and yeah, it's just a really, uh, it, it just seems like they're a really good team, and Chris Chibnall, I think it was Chris Chibnall, said it was, it was the most inclusive series on the show. We're going to get our first uh, writers uh, in Doctor Who uh, of colour, we've never had a Doctor Who writer who's who's not white, um, which is strange. It's very strange. Um, I don't know why that hasn't happened in New Who, but it's it's going to happen this series apparently. Uh, I believe there's three male writers and two female writers in the guest slots this time, so that means that I'm guess uh, the rest will be written by Chris Chibnall. So half and half maybe unless there's people doing more than one story not sure can't confirm it or deny anything there just just predictions um so uh on the main side of announcements we had the new sonic screwdriver revealed I talked about this i believe a little while ago i might be getting confused with the podcast that i do but i talked about this a little while ago and I, I don't really like the Sonic screwdriver that much. It's okay. It just looks a bit crap, really. But it, it, they say um, that you just have to wait and see how the Doctor acquires it. We have to, uh, we have to wait and see because apparently there's an interesting way she requires uh, acquires it. But it's going to be really interesting to see... Uh, the new Sonic in action, and you know uh, how how she makes it. Um, Chris Chibnall did say uh, that he says uh, the TARDIS was destroyed at the end of the twice of time, and he says I don't know if we'll ever see that again. <laughs> You're funny, Chris. Um, anyway, um, it's they also revealed that the Daleks will not be returning to Doctor Who Series 11. Yes, no Daleks for the last oh, so many years. We have had no Daleks. As you saw in the trailer, there were no creatures revealed in there, and there shall be no returning creatures whatsoever uh, on Doctor Who Series 11 or returning characters. Uh, but there will apparently be s s slight callbacks, probably little Easter eggs, little fan service -y things, uh, but there's no uh, villains returning or no returning characters. Uh, well, that's what Chris Chibnall says, but rule one is the showrunner lies. We know Moffat often lied quite a lot, which annoyed fans. Um, but yeah, uh, Daleks, um, Daleks aren't in it this series, but he says for this year there will be no returning villains or characters so that because it's all fresh or brand new so that means that next year with series 12 uh, there's going to be a a lot of returning things again like Daleks, maybe Cybermen, uh, all sorts of things so that I suppose in series 11 it gives new fans a chance to jump on board for the first time and it also gives uh, but former fans, you know, the chance to see something new before in series 12 when the new fans have hopefully become really engaged in the show and have watched loads of classic who's that are, or, or just former Doctor Who episodes and are familiar with the franchise. 
uh, and they will uh, soon uh, discover old villains and people and will understand those people more so that the fans can understand it all. So that's quite a good idea. On the final thing uh, is that um, Christian Nodded confirmed that there is going to be a Christmas special. They're going back now after SDCC, so from today, I guess, uh, for two weeks left of filming. And then they have a couple of weeks break for the summer. And then they will be returning for filming in August or September time uh, to film the Christmas special, which I'm guessing will air as usual on Christmas Day. So the tradition is still going. I believe they started to film it, if I know rightly. Um, they just haven't done the core part of that yet. Um, Wayne Yip is on to direct it from what I can uh, see. Uh, but yeah, we talked about that in a separate video a couple of uh, weeks ago. So yeah, uh, really good to see some more announcements about Doctor Who uh, Series 11 being revealed. Uh, we'll give you more as it comes. Uh, we'll give you more videos. Obviously things are hotting up in Doctor Who, so there'll be more videos, more discussions, more Series 11 news uh, over the next few weeks, hopefully. Uh, so stay tuned to the Miss Lewis Moon account. Like this video, subscribe, ring the bell, do whatever you want, um, please. <laughs> and um, we'll, we'll keep you updated on uh, Series 11. Um, I'm going to be doing a Series 11 review series later on this year, when Series 11 begins, obviously. But there'll be more details on that as time goes on. Thank you so much uh, for watching slash listening, slash whatever, uh, today, um, and stay tuned for the next video. I'm not really sure what that's going to be, but, you know, if you have any recommendations for videos, then leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I will see you next time, same time, same space. Goodbye!